Module 3, Lesson 5, Objective, Multiply Multiples of 10, 100, and 1,000 by Single Digits Recognizing Patterns. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say place value, factor, product. Everyone say factor times factor equals product. So you multiply two factors together and you come up with an answer which is called your product. So let's start off by looking at two ones times four on our place value chart. So we can see that we have four groups of two ones circled. Next, let's look at two tens times four on our place value chart. So you can see that we have four groups of two tens circled. So I know that two ones times four will give me a product of eight, and I know that two tens times four will give me a product of eighty. Finally, let's look at two hundreds times four on our place value chart. So I have two hundreds times four. So I have four groups of two hundreds circled on my place value chart. And two hundreds times four would give me a product of eight hundred. Another way to look at this is eight ones will equal eight. Eight tens will equal eighty. And eight hundreds will equal eight hundred. Let's solve these in unit form. 8 times 2, 8 times 20, 8 times 200, 8 times 2,000. So first we have 8 times 2 ones would be 16 ones. Next we have 8 times 2 tens would be 16 tens. Next we have 8 times 2 hundreds, which would be 16 hundreds. And then finally we have 8 times 2 thousands, which would be equal to 16 thousands. So what patterns do you notice when looking at these? All of the problems have factors of eight. The units are in order of place value chart, smallest to largest, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. The unit that we multiply is the same in our product, hundreds hundreds, thousands, thousands. What happens if we change the unit from eight times two hundreds to eight hundreds times two? Does the product change at all? No, nothing happens. The product stays the same even though the unit changed. So, so we know that eight times two hundreds can be written as 8 times 2 one hundreds, and 8 hundreds times 2 can be written as 8 one hundreds times 2. And you will still get a product of 16 hundreds, 1,600, which can be read 16 hundreds. Francisco played a video game and earned 60 points for every coin he collects. He collected 7 coins. How many points did he earn for the coins that he collected? Francisco also earned 200 points for every level he completed in the game. He completed 7 levels. So how many points did he earn for the levels that he completed? Finally. What was the total number of points that Francisco earned? So we can see that this is a multi-step problem. So first, we will solve problem number one. Let's go ahead and make up a tape diagram. So we know that for each coin that he collected, he earned 60 points. And there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then this is our total or our unknown. Let's go ahead and set up our equation. 7 times 60. 
we can break this down and make it 7 times 6 times 10. And our basic multiplication factor of 7 times 6 will give us a product of 42. And then 42 times 10 will give us a product of 420. So I know that Francisco earned 420 points for the coins he collected. Next, let's solve problem number 2. So I know that he had 200 points for each level that he completed, and he completed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's go ahead and set up our equation to solve this problem. So 200 times 7, and we can break that apart and make it 7 times 2 to get our basic multiplication fact times 100. So 7 times 2 will give me a product of 14. And then 14 times 100 will give me 14 hundreds, or 1,400. So I know that Francisco earned 1,400 points for the levels he completed. Finally, let's solve problem number three. What was the total number of points that Francisco earned? So we're going to have to take the total points for here and the total points from here and add those together. 1,400 plus 420 will give me a sum of 1,820. So restate your question. Francisco earned a total of 1,820 points.